All right, guys, well, welcome back. Uh, today I'm out here with Zach from Laguna, uh, and we are testing out the new Laguna Trident. If you guys follow me on Facebook and Instagram, you've already seen photos of this. I posted it last week. A lot of you guys had questions about it, so I'm gonna let him answer what this rod really is. How's it going, guys? Uh, so what we wanted to do was we wanted to make a moderate light rod uh, with a stronger tip to be able to throw you know, a vast amount of different light baits, whether it's a twitch bait, a smaller topwater, or even a tail, this rod um, is able to do it all. So the Trident comes in a 6.5 and a 6.2, and the 6.2 comes in at 2.6 ounces, and the 6.5 comes as 2.8 ounces. Super light, um, it is a great all around rod, and it's a fun rod, and come check it out and uh, tackle any fish you want out there. Thanks. Loving it so far. Oh, that's so cool. See their tails? Let me get way in front of them. There you go. You on it, right? Yeah. Good little ripfish. <laughs> you ain't hiding it now. <laughs> it's all good. Need the net? Come back here. Oh, good redfish. Hell yeah. Solid. Yeah, he was, <laughs> he hit it pretty good. Yes, sir. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Nice fish. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so I have spent uh, the last few weeks really testing out this Laguna Trident, um, and I gotta say I absolutely love it, but I wanted to give you my thoughts on it um, and, and tell you where I think that this rod really, really excels over some of the um, other traditional rods that are a little bit longer. Now I did go with the six foot two, that's what this is here. Um, and I went with the six foot two instead of the six foot five uh, for a few reasons. One, it's about the weight. It is extremely light, uh, lightweight. And I wanted something uh, like that, very, very lightweight. But secondly, I have a lattice that is six foot four. I have a light Texas waiter that I believe is six, six. I have uh, the liquid series in six, 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 nine, seven foot. Uh, I've got a lot of those, so I wanted something that was a lot lighter and a lot smaller um, and a lot shorter and really test the difference of where that, you know, gives you the most benefit. Uh, and so I went with a six foot two. I really wanted to test something that was completely different than what I had been using in the past and then really go over the benefits for that. Now, while both the six foot two and six foot five uh, Laguna Trident are moderate, light, moderate, fast rods, um, I will say this. This six foot two, because it is considerably shorter, it feels different. It feels different when you load it. It feels different when you cast this. It feels different when you set that hook. It is completely different than, you know, a six foot six medium light. Now, if you were to measure uh, down from the tip of this rod to where this is actually loading when you, you know, have a fish on, well, it's in the it's in the same spot as any other moderate light, but because this rod is shorter at six foot two, it feels different. Now, the biggest benefit to that, in in my opinion, after using this for a few weeks, is your ability to control a fish once you have one on, because uh, it is loading closer to your hand because it's a shorter rod. 
Um, you can really control fish and you can move them exactly where you want them to. Your control over that is just, uh, it, it is unmatched uh, in comparison to a lot of your longer rods. You can, you can really, really, you know, control where your fish is going or, you know, if you need them to turn around a boat or if you're on a kayak, uh, th this rod really, really helps you, could, you know, keep that control over your fish. All right. Oh, there he is. There it is. There's a whole school right there if you want to cast on it. When I hit that, about four of them took off. Yes, sir. Oh my god, this is a flounder. <laughs> Look at this flounder. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, I'm I am utterly confused. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, damn, right by you. Dude, that's a monster. <laughs> Big guy here. Yeah, that was also caught on the old uh, Bone Diamond down south lure. Look at that. Whew. He is a uh, 19 and a half. Big old solid flounder. All right, let's let him go. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> That is the last thing I expected right there. Now I think the biggest difference in this rod and the, and the difference that I noticed the most was when it came to casting. Now when you're using some of those longer medium light rods like a lattice for instance, uh, you really feel the whippiness in that rod and so you, you can almost feel the delay of when you release to when that lure is actually moving because the end of the rod is whipping so much. Uh, which is really, really great if you're trying to get a light bait to, you know, if you're launching that out there, really trying to get it far. This rod, on the other hand, is more about precision casting. Uh, if you want to put a lure exactly where you want it to go, this is, you know, this is the perfect rod. Uh, wherever you point the tip of this rod, that's where that lure is going, which is really, really great. It was super beneficial. It took me a minute to get used to that um, because I was so used to some of my other rods that do have that whippiness. But once I did, man, you can really, really fine tune exactly where you're casting. It's perfect if you're out in the in the marsh or, or whether you're on a boat or on a kayak. It doesn't matter if you see some, you know, redfish tailing or, you know, if you if you see some fish moving around and you need to put that lure right in front of their face. This is the rod. It really, really helps you get that precision right exactly where you want it. I just point the end of my rod to where it needs to go. And that's where the lure is going to end up. Um, it, it makes it really, really nice. Like I said, it took me a minute to get used to, but as I was switching back and forth between my other rods, the Lattice and the Light Texas Waiter, uh, and then back to this, it, 
it really, you know, it, it showed the benefit of having those different rods and having a rod like this. You know, when I saw a fish, this is what I was grabbing because I could, I could cast directly on top of it or directly in front of it and really get those casts that I need. That's where this uh, rod really excels, in my opinion, is making those perfect precision casts. There we go. Got him. Saw you over there, buddy. <laughs> Gave himself away. <laughs> Yes, sir. I'm gonna need you to chill out, man. Good red fish. Caught on the old bone diamond here. Good looking fish. Let you go. That was cool. Now lastly, what makes this rod so incredibly versatile is that when you're not using those lighter baits, if you want to switch over to something a little bit heavier like this, like a corky, uh, or to a topwater or some or anything that's a little bit heavier well you can still get those amazing casts out of that and because it is a moderate light and it is a very very light weight rod well you can really feel everything in in that rod you can feel every little motion and movement and you can you know uh, really work a topwater great it, it's just it's perfect for all of that so where this rod um, shines in my opinion is that it is versatile you can use heavy baits you can use light baits if you're using those lighter lures it's perfect for that precision casting when you need to really really hit those casts um, because it is lightweight it's a, it's a rod that you can use all day without uh, worrying about uh, fatigue or, or your arms getting tired or just that that extra weight uh, and then lastly once once you hook up onto a fish it this rod really really helps you control that fish exactly how you want to and that is what the lagoon trident is all about now finally to answer the question that i'm sure all of you guys are asking is well where do you get them how do you get them what do they cost well the six foot five uh retails at 350 and the six foot two retails at 375 and the difference in the cost on the six foot two is well it is it has the uh, SK2 uh, trigger and reel seat um, combo here, which I believe is the lightest weight of uh, trigger and reel seat they make. Uh, it makes this considerably lighter. It, it is one of the lightest rods you can use, and so that it, you know that increases the price a little bit. But yes, the six foot two it, it does retail at 375. The six foot five retails at 350. Um, you can get these uh, directly from Laguna or you can go to Anglers Anonymous. Uh, last week I dropped off five of these over at Anglers uh, Anonymous. I know at least one of them sold. They had four left, but a little, there was a lot of interest in it. So if you want one right now, that's the only place you can get one. You can get one over at Anglers Anonymous until they are sold out. After that, um, you know, they will be restocking at some point. But uh, if you want one now, if you want to order one of these for, for somebody for Christmas or for yourself, right now you can go directly through Laguna and Laguna can uh, custom make you one. So um, that is pretty much it. 
Uh, if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate. Reach out. Let me let me know if you have one. If you if you picked one up, tell me what you think. Um, this is definitely one of my new favorite rods. It, it's definitely something that I'm gonna have in the arsenal. And for me, this is really going to be one of those rods that I'm bringing out when I'm marsh fishing and chasing down redfish. Because I mean, again, you can get those perfect casts right on top of those fish, exactly where you want it. And that is for me, that is the biggest selling point on this rod. It is just perfect for that. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, like the video, comment below, hit that bell notification so you know when I drop another video. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.